Hello, it's Vlablonsky. Today I have something special. This spot that I'm showcasing is quite a find. It's unique because it focuses on Filipino barbecue. I don't know of another place like it, and I'm going to take advantage of that. So join me as I indulge in barbecue specialties, Filipino style. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm having food from Namit Food Truck. Uh, it's in Columbia, Maryland, and that's uh, kind of halfway between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Oh, 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 actually, no. You know what? Oh, it's actually not a food truck. It's more of a food trailer, really, uh, because uh, where they're at in that uh, compartment, that portable uh compartment area that they're in. I guess that's the, my best description of it. It doesn't have a motor, so they can't just drive away. It's more of a trailer. It has to be towed away. But anyway, uh, I got a, a few of their items to try. Barbecue items. Again, they, they focus on Filipino barbecue. And the first thing are pork barbecue skewers. And look at this. Look at the beautiful char. You know this came off a grill. It has a soy, I think a soy garlic glaze? I think that's what it is. But anyway, let me try it. <laughs> oh, man. And the glaze, you can definitely taste the glaze on this thing. Wow, they brushed it on and it's embedded into the flesh of this pork. Because... It's not just, you know, the surface of the meat is not wet as if, you know, they just lathered it on the end as an afterthought. It is embedded into the meat. And so, wow, the sauce itself has a charred flavor. Wow. Okay, this next dish is chicken in a sol, and uh, I think this is a major player on the barbecue scene, uh, in the Philippines anyway. <laughs> it's a complete leg quarter here. It looks very charred too, and it's served with garlic rice and achara, the pickled young papaya, and there's a couple of cucumber wedges. <laughs> Look at this hulking leg quarter. <laughs> anyway, oh, let me just bite it and see that's the best way to eat it. I think it might be. <laughs> wow. Crispy on the outside and like the skewers, it has a very charred flavor. You would not mistake this chicken as having come from some place other than a, a grill. And oh, let me let me, oh my, I'm gonna break this joint to separate the leg and the thigh. And oh, here, oh my lord, here it is. Oh man, it wasn't the most aesthetically clean uh, separation, but uh, I think that's the best way to approach this. And now I have two pieces, the leg and the thigh. Let me munch on this leg now. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That's really, really good. I mean, the chicken is moist and tender and smoky and charred. And, oh, they do give you a, 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 a soy uh, condiment that comes with it. This must be the soy garlic sauce. Uh, that, uh, so uh, let me just try that. I'm going to pour a little bit onto the meat. <laughs> well, I'm pouring it onto the meat and uh, let me just try it that way. Oh, wow. That might be soy vinegar, actually, because it has a sour component. Not, maybe not, no, not, not soy garlic, but soy vinegar. Wow, that's nice. 
Wow. A little bit of sourness really kind of complements that that savoriness. Mmm. Cucumbers? Yeah. <laughs> Let me try the garlic rice. Oh man. Wow, that's good. That garlic rice is so flavorful, so moist. Oh my god. That might be the best garlic rice I've had in in, in any of my Filipino foods uh, that I've ordered so far anywhere, really. Wow. It has a nice orangey color. I don't know if garlic rice is supposed to be orangey looking. But the texture is nice and moist and kind of pliable. And there's a really deep flavor. Wow. And of course you have some of the, of the achara, the pickled young papaya. Oh man. Wow. <coughs> wow. That is very, very sour and crunchy. Wow. See, I just picked up that cucumber and munched on it because the sourness of it, I instinctually try to chase it with something. Mm. That is really good achara. The sourness in that achara is really pleasing. Oh my. It's very sharp and very bright. That might be, <laughs> that is, that might be the best achara I've ever had. Wow. Not that I've had a whole lot of it, but that achara is making an impression on me. Okay, <laughs> the next item is barbecue brisket. And it looks very glazed. It really looks the part. Wow, it has a nice amber barbecue uh, appearance to it. And it's charred a little bit on the outside. It comes with the achara, the two uh, cucumber wedges, and the, a big helping of more of that wonderful garlic rice. But, oh, I got two pieces. I think the smaller piece I can just poke. Oh, oh, here it is. Here, oh my, oh my, here it is. The smaller of the two brisket pieces, and let me just bite it uh, rather than cut it. Mm. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! That. Oh my God, let me chase that real quick. Oh my. Oh, that's our... Okay, what am I reacting to? That meat, it is ridiculously tender. Oh my God, abundantly moist and so flavorful. Oh my. The thing with brisket is, if you don't do it right, if you don't do it skillfully, it will be dried out and kind of hard, but it just flakes off. And it's so pleasingly moist and tender. And that glaze, that soy glaze, uh, I'm, I'm guessing soy garlic, as opposed to soy vinegar, because it, it doesn't really have a sour uh, taste to it. It has a very sweet savoriness. And I would say a slightly more sweet uh, flavor profile than it does a savory one. So this is definitely, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, a characteristically barbecue flavor. Uh, not too far away in flavor, I would say, uh, uh, you know, to American barbecue. It has a very reminiscent American barbecue flavor, really. Oh, my. Oh, my God. And that piece I just ate, it's nice and fatty. Oh my God, it's just bursting with flavor. Oh my. Oh. 
Oh my. What's left is a bigger piece of brisket underneath. There's a striation of fat that goes down the length of that brisket piece. And I can imagine this is an amazing piece. I almost don't want to disturb it because it looks so beautiful, that, that glazed charred appearance. But I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> break it to, to eat it. <laughs> Okay, it's a beautiful piece of meat, but I'm gonna have to cut it to uh, eat it. So let me, oh, let me use this plastic knife and, oh, oh, okay, I'm working at it. Oh, I can't, oh, this one piece at the end, I can't uh, detach it. I'm having trouble detaching it. Oh, oh my, the striations, the band of, the bands of meat. Oh, 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 let me break off a piece. Okay, oh, oh, here it is. Oh my. Oh my. I was right. There's a big striation of fat, a big nodule of fattiness working down the length of that brisket that really adds a degree, not a degree, but a, an abundance of, of, of flavor. Wow. That glaze that they use is so delicious. The soy glaze, wow, it kind of puddles a little bit in the uh, the takeout box, and so the bottom of this brisket is really saturated with that soy glaze. Oh my god! Okay, this place, Namit, this food truck or food trailer, as it were. I am impressed. This is the first explicitly so named Filipino barbecue business that I've ever uh, patronized. You know, I've never been to a place or a spot that uh, was explicitly uh, self-identifying as a Filipino barbecue place. And Namad is so self-identified. And I am impressed. They are barbecue masters, you know, really. I am impressed by this brisket and uh, the chicken inosol earlier and the pork skewers before that. Wow, I mean, this is really, really good barbecue. And thank you for sticking all the way to the end. I appreciate it. And uh, please join me on my next food adventure. Uh, thank you for joining me and watching multiple episodes and supporting me. And uh, I, I really appreciate that because uh, it's always uh, heartwarming to know that people come back for more episodes. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next time. Take care for now. Bye-bye.